48% voted no on more money sooner. Just wanted to share something I experienced a few years ago when I was working for a auto parts company. We were unionized and were deep into negotiations, and the members were somehow split almost directly down the middle in yes, no votes for a four-year contract. We had barely managed to send the first offer back. 53%. The horrible offer of 5 cents. 5 cents. 10 cents. 10 cents raises. Each to be given out at the end of each year. Horrible. I made the motion to hold a mock vote to determine exactly where the union stands before we make the actual vote. In the event the majority wishes to strike we can all vote in unison. This motion failed. I then made the motion to ask for the order of our raises to change from 551,010 to 101,055 so we can at least make a few pennies more a little sooner. This motion failed. We ended up just taking the offer. Some 68% of the union pays due simply to take the offer given and refuse to even ask for better. They only paid $2 above minimum wage to start with. I know everyone has their own motivations and situations to deal with but damn people fight for the pie a little. Can lead a horse to water. Something about drinking. Anyways. The horse ends up at the glue factory. I've met a lot of people that are just content with Stockholm Syndrome. People are something else. Where I work if we were gonna go on strike or try and unionize the first person in the office to rat us out would be the same guy who bitches about how much he hates this place and management. Worst union ever, Jesus Christ. Meanwhile inflation is shafting you $5 $5 $5 per year. Folks are too proud to admit that they need money. Eat rocks then. Idiots. That's a lot of work to vote for a pay cut every year. Unamused. My experience with the Pipefitters Union was that it was a bunch of Trump supporters but they are. Union so you have to basically force them to vote for Democrats and half the time they still don't. And vote for politicians who would gut all unions if they could. Same in the federal shipyards. Bunch of people who benefit from progressive policy but can't wait to vote for conservatives. This is not a union. It's boot liquors convention. Unions are great until you get too many people looking out of the company thinking they'll be millionaires if they be good boys. 30 cents? Seriously? That's a slap to the face. Punch to the throat. Kick to the crotch. Bent over going in dry. Offer. 30 cents per hour over four years? Why even have a union if they're even entertaining that? Maybe some of your union guys are getting paid to hose the vote. Over here in the UK our unions are largely quite poor and the members are idiots. Regularly being encouraged to accept below inflation pay rises and the vast majority of the members. Voting to take it. Inflation at 5%. Sure vote for a 2% pay increase and live with a real terms pay cut and carry on moaning about being underpaid. Negotiating is a skill. Lots of union reps are completely untrained how to do it properly. How to tell people you really don't understand what corruption is, and never will. Do they think you live in 1910? Those raises are ridiculous. Time for some sleuthing. That feels suspicious. This is why I hate my wife's union. Eight years she's been then $2 raise is what she's gotten because every union negotiation goes the same way. Union says if they don't accept this tiny pay raise they might lose their generous sick time. Which only the full timers. Less than half the staff but 100% of the union leadership can use. 
I feel like you need to do an explainer on marginal tax rates and also find out if anyone is right. At the level of losing government benefits, there are no other reasons I can think of, other than management coercion, to reject more money sooner. Although that's a terrible raise offer in general, that's only $100,200 annually, assuming full-time hours. Can't you negotiate raises based on percentages it's a much better method? Or even tie it to inflation? Might be time to vote the union out for new representation. Did you try to inspire them? I know that people generally can't be asked to sacrifice their livelihood in that now, even if it means a better tomorrow. I would have shown them pictures of the houses of all the clevel officers in the company, shown them their salaries, explained to them how many years they'd have to work to equal the CEO pay. 176.152 years if you make $10 an hour. 40 hours a week every week to make the same salary that the CEO of AutoZone makes in a year. Hell, tell them that if their salaries were double, that they'd still have to work 88 years to earn what he makes in a year. You have to piss them off. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Heracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.